guys what's up welcome back to my channel so today's video is going to be on this look that you see right here very fall appropriate with a little bit of glitter so in this video I'm actually collabing with another youtuber so her channel yes. name chocolate emeralds and I will have it somewhere on the screen or down below if you like her and her channel so I decided Let's do a collab for Thanksgiving next week. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. We'll have all of her channel information down in the description box. Click on the link below to see her fall inspired makeup look. Well, thank you for all of my new subscribers. Don't forget to thumbs up this video. Leave me some comments. If you go watch her video, please let her know that I sent you. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video. Share her video. I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving. Don't eat too much, but eat a lot, you know. You know, because I'm ready to grab myself. But I hope you guys have a great Thanksgiving holiday with family, friends, whoever you spend it with. And yeah, I hope you guys like this look. I really like the way that it came out. I used the Jaclyn Hill palette to create this look. On my lips, I have on Teddy by NYX. This is not a tutorial, by the way. So if you want to know what's on my face, definitely check the description box below so you can see the list of products. But without further ado, let's just get right into the video. Okay guys, so I already have my foundation concealer applied and I was getting ready to set it, but I used that brush for my daughter on Halloween and yeah. Anyway, so I had to restart over and I used the Tarte Shape Tape to prime my eyelids and the Cody Airspun to set that and make my eyeshadows all blend together nicely. <laughs> into the Jaclyn Hill palette one of my favorite colors in the palette um, I'm going to blend that all into my crease and that is going to be the color that I use throughout the video to transition each color on my eye and I love it it's like a mustard color and I'm really feeling that color this year I'm just building that color up until it's the desired shade that I want it to be, but it is really pigmented on its own with, you know, a few applications. And I'm just going to enter, you know, on the screen the shades that I'm using because it's just too much work to have to look at the card and remember the name. So I will and I'm put it on the screen somewhere um, as you see me go and, you know, do my eye out, put the name so you guys know what color I'm using if you try to recreate this look. So basically I'm just applying and blending out and reapplying and just applying it and blending it out a bunch of times until I think that it looks good and don't worry if it does not look perfect right now because once you um, blend all the colors together with a fluffy blending brush it'll all look seamless um, but yeah I'm really liking the way that the shadows blend out they really are amazing. <laughs> So once you blend out your edges, you're going to go into a deeper burgundy color and just sort of, actually it's like an orangey tone color and I'm just using that to blend the colors together and to deepen up the crease because I feel like I blended it away and then once I do that, then I will cut my crease. So y'all already know I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape and a flat concealer brush to, or an eyeshadow brush to carve out my crease. And I'm going to do that really quickly and then I will set it with the Cody Airspun right after so that the concealer does not transfer um, anywhere else on my eye because it tends to do that if I wait to set it. So yeah, that's what I'm doing right here. Okay, so whenever you do cut your crease, sometimes your edges can, you know, kind of fade away. So I'm just sharpening the line a little bit with a pointed brush. I don't know the name of it. And I'm just taking the same color that I obviously used in my crease. And then I'm going to blend it all together. Okay. 
guys don't forget to subscribe to uh chocolate emerald go check her channel out the link will be in the description box below and let her know i sent you if you watch her video and hello to all of her subscribers if you have came from her video and yeah we hope you guys like this look and her look this part became a little messy this is not the brush that i originally used when i first created this look but it's just like a pencil brush kind of and i just was trying to kind of smoke out the inner and outer portion of my eye just to give it a little depth and i'll straighten it up in a minute you'll see that but yeah that's what i'm doing and it's like a deep plum color and i think it really set this look off and it's super cute So lastly on my eyes I'm deciding to use a little bit of glitter in my crease and I think this is what really was like my favorite part about this look and it just makes it look like a little extra a little oomph you know so that's what I'm using this is actually a glitter from hard candy and I really like it I need to go get it in gold as well um, but once you do that that's basically the, it that's basically it for my eyes and then I'll move into cleaning up my face with concealer brightening and all that stuff. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and put some mascara on these lashes, girl. These, This is the um, Maybelline Big Shot Mascara, and I am putting that over the Cara Wispy Lashes from ShopMissA.com. Now, usually, you guys, if you watch my videos, know that I do my eyes first, then my foundation, but I was trying to be a little different, so now I'm just going in and clean, cleaning up any excess fallout with putting, you know, concealer, straightening up any harsh edges, and brightening underneath my eyes, just highlighting my face as usual. So I'm going to kind of skip through this part, and then I'll show you guys how I finish off the eyes. So after setting my face, I am using the a small blending brush and I'm applying the colors on my bottom lash line just as I did in my crease and on my lid. So starting with the lighter shade going to a darker shade and that's basically it. I, I did apply some eyeliner, some mascara to the bottom lashes and yeah, then I went into lips and I started to do a burgundy lip but I changed my mind and I decided to go with something more brown and i use teddy by nyx and it's their lingerie liquid lipstick super cute so this completes this look i hope you guys have a great thanksgiving holiday thank you so much for watching thank you to all of my new subscribers don't forget to check out her video and i will see you guys in the next one love you bye